is a quick tutorial video that shows you how ductwork goes together. Um, we've fabricated the ends of this two pieces of ductwork here and here, and I made them components. Not that that means anything to you, but um, you can see that we've um, beveled the edges, and I did a a video on that earlier. Hopefully you've watched it, and we bent the sides over so that we can put in what's called a drive cleat. And that's what this is. This component right here is called a drive cleat. And what this does is this, if I can orbit around it so you can see, it's a channel <coughs> that locks into these channels, this channel here and this channel here. What we do is we push the duct together. We have an S cleat that's on top here. So this thing here is going to slide into this S cleat. <coughs> and then this and this channel are going to butt together. And then this guy here is going to slide over that channel. You can see it's hollow inside. It's going to slide over that channel and it's going to lock it in. So let's see if we can't do that with this so you get a, a good idea of what this is supposed to do. And I'm going to select this component and I'm going to move it. So the ductwork is going to slide like this and then you see these two guys are, are butting together. Hopefully I can get that right. I might have to zoom in a lot. but. Okay, and you see how them two pieces now, if I orbit, we zoom out and orbit, you can see how everything is slid together. Oops. Right, like that. Okay, now, if you take a look from the top, which we're doing, you can see how it's it's created a channel in there. And this guy here is going to slide right over that channel. So let's see how we can do that. I don't know if I can do it with SketchUp. I haven't tried it yet. But all ductwork goes together like this for the most part. <coughs> we need to rotate this guy. So let's zoom in. Burn. Orbit out. There we go. See if we can't get this guy to spin. And then we're going to try and put it on the I think I want it on that axis. I have to do something first. Okay. I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to you. Oops. second. What we're trying to do is spin this. I have to choose it as a component to spin. So there we go. Um, this program is Google SketchUp in case you haven't figured it out yet. There we go. And then see we spin it. Okay. Now, you can see how this would work, is we're going to move this, oh, see. and all that would do is it's just going to basically come from the bottom and slide up into this like that. And they're not the correct size, but you get the point, right? This thing just grabs onto this, slides up. And then what it should do is it locks it locks these two guys together. Like this. There we go. 
So it just slides up in here. And if, if we can get it just right, it's a little tricky because I don't have it on the right plane, but if I can get it a little higher, like that, there we go. And then over and out like that. You can see, even if we rotate this thing, if I, you can see where it's actually locked it in place. And that's how most ductwork works. And then you just bend these two tabs over, bend this tab over, and then you bend that tab over and it locks it. And then you put another drive cleat on this side over here. And you, you just pound it down and then bend it over and bend it over. And that's it. And then the ductwork is assembled. This is how almost all ductwork goes together. And then you put some sealant around it to seal, you know, on these joints and seals it up. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, encourage you to join my, my mail list. And that'll be at the end of this video, the link to the mail list. And if you join that, uh, anytime we have something new or a new video, there's a new book, then we just send it to you for free.